All right, <clears throat> hopefully we will have sound this time around. Uh, we are talking about uh, a Russian submarine that has disappeared off the coast of Israel. And uh, something that, uh, I, I don't know if this has been reported in mainstream media as of yet. Uh, maybe some of you might be aware if it has or has not. If you would, maybe let me know in the comment section here. But uh, a good friend of mine over in Israel has uh, given me that information, said both the United States and Israel were trying to track the submarine and that submarine disappeared. It is believed to be though that the submarine is actually there trying to gather intel uh, off a possible conflict that could easily erupt between Israel and Iran or even Israel and Syria for that matter. There is continued uh, uh, strikes by the Israeli forces on uh, targets inside of Syria. Uh, allegedly, most of these targets are Iranian proxies that are fighting there in the country, uh, but we'll just have to wait to see how that goes. But again, Russian uh, nuclear submarine uh, has disappeared off the coast of Israel. That was actually given that information was shared with me yesterday by a good friend of mine there in Israel. And I uh, want to also bring up another issue, too, that's going on. Another thing that's really causing some major concerns with the Israeli government and that is uh, the Russians, the Russia had just met on the 15th of March with leaders of Hezbollah. Yeah, actually in Moscow, meeting with leaders of Hezbollah. At the same time, they were meeting with Israeli military officials uh, in Russia too. Uh, it has been reported that the uh, Russian government has been working with Hezbollah and has even allowed Russian uh, special forces to be dressed as Hezbollah fighters. And also Russia has allowed Hezbollah to raise the Russian flag to keep from having Israelis uh, military aircraft target their positions. Well, anybody knows anything about Israel, that is gonna go over like a lead balloon. Uh, and it's been a very, very touchy situation uh, between the two sides there and well, just all kinds of troubles that are going on. Anyway, uh, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be able to put together a, a video along with Yana on the situation um, regarding, you know, that thing they want to put in everybody's arm. I uh, want to share with you some thoughts that were given to me from uh, an insider there in the Pentagon from the doctors, what they're saying, what Pentagon doctors are actually saying. Uh, about the pandemic, right? Anyway, I think you'll find that interesting. Don't want to really say anything here on that, so to be on Patreon. Uh, I, I say Patreon. Oh, gosh, may not be able to put that on Patreon either. Patreon will shut you down for that information as well. Probably just iConnect uh, and maybe brand new tube is where we'll put that information at. There are some more things I do want to share over on Patreon that I can share safely. Some things that I uh, was told about that I have not uh, shared here. But um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes though tomorrow. But I really want to share though with you what these doctors are saying. Uh, that's going to be very, very interesting. And you may be shocked. Anyway, Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. God bless you and good evening.